Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jenna Redfield. This is part two of a four part series on marketing automation and Notion. And today I'm gonna to be talking specifically about Zapier and how I use it in my business. I just discovered Zapier a couple years ago and unfortunately for a while when I started Notion, the API wasn't available so I didn't really use it or anything, but then the API became available which now means that we can use apps like Zapier to link to other apps. Basically, that's what Zapier is. If you never used it, you create zaps or links between different apps. So usually with Notion, I would say most of the time you're sending data into Notion versus the other way around uh, because it's more of a database, right? You're trying to collect information. Now, I have some hacks uh, that I'm coming real soon. I'm gonna be doing another series on food and fitness. I found some really cool fitness hacks for Zapier Notion. Um, I'm really excited to share. I'm currently on the free Zapier plan because I just recently started using it, um, but quickly realized the power of it. And for someone who's not a coder, this is a, such a great software because really it's a click, 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 you're connected kind of thing. You don't have to know coding. You literally just have to connect one app, connect Notion, and just set up the, the they call it recipe on IFTTT. I'm also gonna be talking about IFTTT or if this then that, uh, as well as other apps like Automate.com io integramat there's a ton of them that do this type of software but i would say zapier is the most common because it has it's probably the oldest and it's the one that has the most uh i guess connections also notion recently acquired automate.io so i'm excited to see what they're going to do for some internal uh stuff that they're probably starting to build up inside of notion hopefully eventually they'll have recurring tasks fingers crossed. Later in another video, I'm going to be talking about webhooks, which are basically where you can kind of create your own uh, app with it. If the app is not available in Zapier, you can kind of create your own and still get the data. A lot of the data, again, is moved into Notion, where Notion is actually the database side, right? You're sending content over to Notion. So I wanted to let you guys know that this is part two of a four part series and I'm gonna be doing a series on fitness and food down the road. But also I wanted to let you guys know that I am now posting Notion content on TikTok. So if you haven't followed me at Jen Redfield on TikTok, I'm on there. Also I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all the other apps, um, usually at Jen Redfield. And I post sometimes Notion content on there too. So make sure to follow for more and let's get started. Okay, awesome. So I wanted to show you guys a little bit around Zapier if you've never used it before. Basically, this is right here, the main setup. You're gonna create an account. I'm on the free plan currently because I'm deciding if I wanna upgrade. I think I will, but I'm, I'm, I'm just testing out to see which apps I currently use and I wanna show you guys what I'm doing now. But basically how Zapier works is you just have to connect all of your apps and then search for another app that it could connect to. So if we go into my apps, these are the ones that I currently have set up to link. So I have Facebook Messenger, Facebook Pages, Gmail, Google Analytics, Google Calendar, Google Contacts, Google Drive, Gumroad, where I sell uh, some Notion templates and hopefully we'll sell more. Instagram for business, Lead Connector, which is actually my CRM. It's called, uh, basically it was called Go High Level. Um, I'm using FG Funnels, which is like kind of like a sister business to that. So that's my CRM. LinkedIn, Notion, Spotify, Twitter, YouTube, and Zoom. So these are the ones that I found that I actually use. There are so many apps uh, that are available. So depending on what you currently use, these are just the ones that I know I use and could potentially use inside of Zapier. So one of the things I wanna show you, so you can see that every month you get 100 free tasks if you're on the free plan. So that's basically anytime a Zap works, sending uh, some data from one app to another, that's considered a Zap. And so I've used so far this month, 55 out of 100, and I have two days left in the month. So basically, it's like basically the day you started is the day that they kind of, you know, start over the 30 days. And I currently have four Zaps set up. So again, I've been testing this and I will be honest, the ones that I have gotten have been so helpful and I'm so excited to just use more. So I'm going to show you guys like the zaps that I've currently set up that I found to be very helpful. So some of them are off. You can see I started doing some test ones some drafts, ones that I used to use. So one of the first zaps that I set up was every time I got a free call in my CRM, which is basically people fill out a form and then it automatically adds it to my Google Calendar it will send it to my action items that this, with this person's name, what they, you know, why they, it would be basically say free call. 
So that has alerted me more than even my email to, oh, I have a free call. And it also adds the date and time. And I'll show you guys how to set this up. Another really good one that I really like is Google Calendar to Notion. So whenever I add something to my calendar, it adds it also to my to-do list. So for me, having something where I literally just got a <laughs> notification now that there's something on my, on my um, Gmail. So basically what this does is every time I add something to my calendar, it adds it to my action items list. So that way I know it's coming up and I can also add the date and time. So if I, I want to know something on my to-do list, it literally adds it into Notion. Some other things that I like to add into Notion. Every time I post an Instagram post, this is part of my content calendar. It will literally send me the entire uh, caption, the link to the post. I can, you know, literally start documenting what I've been posting on Instagram and send it into my, I'm planning my social content, but also I can have the final product instantly sent to Notion. And then the other one is every time I post a YouTube video, then that sends that also to Notion to my content calendar. So that way I know all, again, all the information, the uh, description, all of that. So the first one I want to show you guys, I think I'm just going to show you one on here and then I'll show you guys some other ones over on ICTT, which I also use. Actually, I'm also going to set up one on, uh, I believe it's on automate.io. As someone who doesn't like to spend a lot of money, I try to use as much free stuff as I can until I absolutely need to pay for something. I'm kind of a cheapo. So in order to connect Zapier to Notion, the one step I didn't think about and was really confusing was up here where you click share, you have to click invite and then you have to add Zapier to it already shows it right here, but basically you have to click invite and search for Zapier and that's how you can find the database. I just wanted to mention that because people skip that step and they can't find their database in Notion. So how I set this up, basically, you can change the name of it over here, but basically you choose the app. So they'll say there's a trigger and there's an action that needs to happen. If you are on the extended plan, you can add even additional steps. So it can be almost like a workflow. So if I go into here, and I'm going to choose an event. So I choose the app. So the app that I've chosen is Lead Connector. And basically all I did was go into the apps, find that app, log in with my username password. That's how you add an app to Zapier. So I have to decide what the trigger event is. And for them, the main one was that a pipeline stage changed. Now within my software, basically that means that some uh, there was a tag added within the workflow or someone was added to a pipeline based off of my setup. So when someone signs up for a free call for, with me, it automatically adds them to this pipeline and then that's the trigger that needs to happen for in order for Zapier to work. So I choose the account. I set up the trigger. So basically I choose the trigger. So if they're in the pipeline coaching, which I have a ton of them, so you can literally see all the different ones I have. If they've been moved to the stage free call, which again, if someone signs up for a free call, they my system automatically tags them and says free call, then that is going to be the trigger to send to Notion. Now you can test the trigger and show that, you know, people have added, you know, that trigger. So you can test it, make sure it works. The second step you need to do is actually connect it to Notion and decide where it's going to go. So obviously you choose the app. So I chose Notion. Again, it's in beta because it's a new API that just launched this year. So my action event is to create a database item. The other ones you can do are update database item or find database item. So I chose create database item. You choose your account. Obviously you're logged in. Then I chose to put it in my to-do database. Now this database is also very important because I use it with my Amazon Alexa as well. Every time I have a to-do list, I can actually add it by saying it out loud. So I wanted to make sure that all of my to-dos were in the same database. So it looks like there's some extra fields, so I don't have to use those if I don't want to. You can refresh fields. So there's different things that you can add. Um, you can add the content, so you can decide, okay, I want to show all options. You could even put like, if there's a message, I could put the message in the content. So that's something you can also do. Um, but you can literally like link each piece of data and now it says it's successful. So this has actually worked a couple times. People have signed up for a free call with me and then I'll get a notification. Let's see if I can go over to Notion and show you guys real quick. Okay, so I realized that I moved some of my databases and it disconnect Zapier. So just note, if you do move a database, reconnect Zapier. So try not to move them. I did. So I wanted to show you guys, if I were to create a new video on YouTube, you can see how here, like it says content name. So that's one of my Notion sections. So I would put title, right? 
So this is my latest YouTube video. The next action date, so that I'm probably not gonna fill out because that's not one I need. Channel or type would be YouTube video. Publish date, I would select, um, let's see, publish date right here. You can see that you can literally, you know, so this would be probably, you can set it up. I usually have just been posting Notion content, so that's what I'm gonna put for the tag. For the status, I'm gonna put published. So again, this is if I publish a YouTube video. Year, I would put this year until, you know, so you can keep adding things as much as you want. So all of these match up with, so if I wanted to put bio, I could literally put the description. So this is how you would add it into Notion. My had disconnected and then you click continue. Then when you're ready, you turn it on. Right now it's disabled, so I'm gonna turn it on if that works so I just wanted to mention that I was recording the first time and I realized it wasn't actually popping up so just want to let you guys know that so basically by going to see all updates I was able to see that it created the free call and it has the information about the person so that was something that was really cool and something that I thought was amazing so these are the other ones that I've set up what I like about Notion is that they also, or what I like about Zapier and Notion is that you can actually explore and find different types of things. So I actually went to this page and I'm not even kidding. I went through every single one of these and found the different apps that I currently use. And you can literally go through and think about like, okay, I'm using Google, like Google forms would be great for me. I'm using that right now. You know, there's literally so many different types, Google Analytics, which I also use. So I would go through and spend some time looking through these. There's so many but you can really just see, okay, what can I add to my apps? And then what, what sort of systems can I automate that can really help me and send things into Notion. So I wanted to also share with you my IFTTT um, because I've been using this probably longer than I'm also using the free plan. So if you go over to uh, my services, so these are the ones I've set up. I've set up webhooks, I've set up the smart life, which is actually what is my smart uh, lighting. Um, so if I ever wanted to turn something on, it works with Amazon Alexa. I've used iOS reminders, which is cool. Notion, Instagram, IFTTT, Facebook pages, and my Amazon Alexa. So I actually have uh, set up, I will show you guys this in a different video when we talk about the Amazon Alexa, but basically this is what I do here. I also am setting up one with Apple Health, so that's another one. But if you aren't using either one, this might be another great one. I think this actually works better with Amazon Alexa, and I'll show you guys that on my next video. So I hope that this was helpful for you guys to kind of get started on Zapier. Um, I am going to leave a link below to some ideas if you're like, I don't know what to do in Zapier, but really for me, it's sending data from one app to another. I definitely am going to be doing more on this, but I kind of wanted to show you quickly how to use Zapier. It's pretty easy to set up. I will be going more in depth when I do my fitness videos on how I set up Apple Health with uh, with Zapier and with uh, sending that over to uh, Notion because that is one part that I have wanted to automate for so long is the data from Apple Health. And I found a really cool hack. So I hope that you guys uh, stay subscribed and I'll talk more about Zapier, but this is really how I use it to automate and send things into Notion. I think that for a beginner like me, I don't know much about automation. I'm learning. I'm quickly, quickly realizing how powerful it is and I'm becoming very passionate about it. I'm also trying to start uh, doing some automation setups for people. So um, I also am starting to do some Notion consulting. So if you want to learn more below, check it out. Um, you can hire me to set up an entire system for you. I would love to help you with your Notion, especially if you run a business. Um, that's probably my main target audience is people that are doing content creation or they have a business and they need help setting it up. So let me know if you need help. I'm also hopefully eventually going to launch templates, like real templates. So we'll see when that happens. Otherwise, thanks so much for subscribing and I'll talk to you guys soon.